MathTutor.biz and MathDVDs.co.uk Foundation Mathematics Lesson 20, Part 5 Moving on to solving equations that have got two operations and still using balancing of course. So here's an equation we're going to solve for x but it's got two operations in there. It's got operation of multiplication because it's being multiplied by 3 and it's got the operation of subtract. So we've got two operations. Which one should we do first? Well, in general, we do any pluses or minuses first and do any multiplications or divisions second. That's one way of figuring it out. Another way is to read it. 3 times x minus 1 and we do the opposite of 3 times x minus 1 which is add 1 divide by 3. Let's write that down. Multiply by 3 is the first thing that's happening to x. Subtract 1 is the second thing that's happening. The reverse of that, or inverse, is to add 1 and then divide by 3. This is the order. So this is one way of thinking about it and this is the, uh, the other way. So, what we do first is we do the inverse of subtract 1, which is to add 1, but we must do it to both sides. If we do that, we're left with 3x plus 0 equals 9. Now we do the inverse of multiply by 3, which is divide by 3, but we must do it to both sides. 3 divided by 3 is 1, so that's 1x equals 9 divided by 3, which is 3, so x itself equals 3. Let's read this. It says 2y plus 1, which means multiply by 2 first, and then add 1. The inverse of that is to do the inverses and in the opposite order. In other words, subtract 1 and divide by 2. Or we do add or subtract first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 1, but I must do it to both sides. Subtracting 1 from this side makes this 0. So I'm left with 2y plus 0 equals 13 minus 1 just done that, so now I do this, divide by 2, and I must do it to both sides, so I divide both sides by 2. 2y divided by 2 is 1y, 12 divided by 2 is 6, if 1y is 6 then y itself is 6. Read that, 2a minus 6, what does that mean? a is multiplied by 2, and then 6 is subtracted. So I'm going to do the opposite, sorry, the inverse, because that's the right way of saying it. The inverse of minus 6 is plus 6. The inverse of multiply by 2 is divide by 2. So when I read it, I read it as times by 2 subtract 6, but I do the inverse and in the opposite order. So first I've got to add 6 to both sides. If I do it to that side, I must do it to that side. Do it to the left side of the equation, do it to the right side of the equation. Work this out. This is 0. Minus 6 plus 6 is 0. So I'm left with just 2a plus 0 equals 9 plus 6. Follow that by the division. Divide both sides by 2. Whatever I do on the left hand side, I must do it to the right hand side. 2a divided by 2 is 1a, and 15 divided by 2 is the same as saying half of 15. So therefore, a is in fact 7.5. Read that. It says 3b plus 1, which actually means multiply by 3 and then add 1. The inverse is to do the inverses in the opposite order. So instead of add 1, you subtract 1. 
and instead of multiplying by 3, you divide by 3. So you take the original equation and you do this to both sides. Subtract 1 from both sides. This is in fact 0, so 3b and 0 is 3b. 13 minus 2 is 12. Now this divide by 3, and we need to do it to both sides. 3b divided by 3 is 1b, and 12 divided by 3 is 4, so b itself is 4. We'll finish on this, but we will return to this, because it does need a lot of practice. Let's read this. It reads as 3c minus 1, and that means multiply by 3, and then subtract 1. The inverse is to do the inverses and do it in the opposite order. So instead of subtract, I add 1. Instead of multiply by 3, I divide by 3. So I look at the equation, and I do this to both sides. I add 1 to that side, and I add 1 to that side. This is 0. Minus 1 plus 1 is 0. Plus 3c, that's just 3c. That's 11. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 3. And if you put a number underneath, that is saying divide. 3c divided by 3 is 1c. What about this 11 divided by 3? Well, 11 doesn't divide by 3. So let's say we'll change this improper fraction to a mixed number. 3 3s are 9, and 10 11 2 over. So therefore c equals 3 and 2 thirds. And we'll leave that for now, but we'll do some more of these in a couple of lessons time. Lesson 20, part 5, finished.